Hello my little butterflies and this video is going to be a short book haul. So y'all this is the first book haul of the year. It's not a big it's not a big book haul but I just wanted to talk about them. Um, it's five books so it's not a huge book haul. Um, I know like a huge book haul is like maybe 10, 11 books whatever. It's not happening. Um, but for these books most of them are if not all of them yeah all of them are new releases for this year um, that are all of my most anticipated reads which I didn't make a video for because I just have so many books on that list and I tried to narrow it down but even then I'm like but I really 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 want to read the other books on the list I have like 80 books on the list and I was not making a video for those so I just decided not to do the video and I would just come through with the hauls or whatever and talk about them so the first book that I have on my list is a book that I haven't really seen on booktube too much. I've seen it on a couple booktube channels. I haven't been like all over going crazy. But that is Enchante by Gita Trelis. Um, I hope that's how you... Look, I'm, I'm just going to butcher a couple names. At least one other book in here. I'm going to fuck the name up pretty bad. So whatever. Um, but this book is about 17 year old Camille who is left to take care of her younger sister and her volatile, unpredictable brother in Paris, France. It's set back in, I don't know what year it is, but it's set back in like Louis the 16 and um, Marie Antoinette age Paris. So it's like really back in the day. Um, but she's left to take care of her two siblings um, once her mother and father die from smallpox. And this is also a world where there's magic and people who fear but crave magic as well and Camille is one of those people that actually has magic so she was using magic to turn scrap metal into coins to make sure that she can buy food and medicine for her sister and then one day the coins stopped holding their shape and then her brother just disappeared with all of their savings so then she has to focus her energy on this other plan that she has which is to use dark magic which was forbidden by her mother to take the shape of a baroness to get into the palace with Louis the 16 and Marie Antoinette. Um, to, she gambled with cards and just to make money and do what she has to do to make sure that her sister and her can eat and can basically live and survive. But of course, everything comes at a cost and nothing stays the same. Um, you know, especially when you're dealing with magic and a fantasy world like this. Um, she ends up losing all of her secrets and then this this undercover game that she playing becomes really deadly because like I said there's people that fear magic and most of the nobles were people that feared magic but craved it as well. They had this greed for the people with magic as well. So now it's this deadly game and then at the same time the revolution breaks out and now she has to choose between if she's, if she's gonna fight for love or loyalty which because being in the palace the nobles that she thought she hated so bad being in the palace so much she actually you know got to know some of them and started to like them so now it's like what do, what do you do um and then she's gonna be deciding on if she's fighting for democracy or aristocracy and you know it's just it's gonna be like a pretty big blow up and I can't wait to see what goes on especially with her brother just disappearing with all of their savings it's like What's his problem? It's like I can't wait to see what role he's gonna play later down in the line. If she, if they ever run into him again or whatever, it's gonna be. But I'm like just super excited for this. I just always have had a special place in my heart for Paris. I don't know why, but I just I always just gush over anything Paris and just Paris theme and just I just I don't know. So I don't know why, but I just it's just always have had this special place in my heart. And I think this just came out on the fifth. I think this came out on the 5th of this month. I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to read it and review it for you guys. Hopefully, I can actually get through my most anticipated reads this month. At least a good bit of it this year. So I can like really, really participate in like the good, the good reads awards and stuff, you know. The next book that I'm going to talk about is Song of the Dead by Sarah Glenn Marsh, which is book two to Reign of the Fallen, which I read last year. And it, oh my God, this book was just so amazing. So... Song of the Day came out in January sometime. I cannot wait to read this book. Okay, like I'm just really excited. I think I gave Rain of the Fallen three and a half stars or maybe four. I can't remember, but I really, really, really enjoyed this book. Okay, so Rain of the Fallen is 
about we follow this girl Odessa who is a master necromancer and she brings people back from the dead but not just any people she works with the royal family and it's like it's in this world where the same royal family has ruled over this land for centuries okay it's like it's always the same people ruling because when they die they have the necromancers that come and bring them back to life but being brought back to life comes at a cost you can't just walk around like you were when you, before you died um once you were brought back from the dead you had to remain shrouded which means you have to remain clothed fully clothed hand gloves on everything none of your skin can ever show no one can ever see your skin because if they do then you turn into a shade which is like a, a zombie on crack pretty much it's like it's like this beefed up zombie that just eats up everything and kills everybody and the big they feed off of people and the the more that they feed the bigger they get and the harder they are to kill so going back to the part of the story someone there's someone is creating an army of shades but they don't know who and they don't know why so there's a lot of conspiracies going on it's just a lot of, it's, a, it's a lot of heartbreak going on it's just a lot going on in this book and i'm just uh it was a lot it was a lot but it wasn't a lot that was like overwhelming it was just like the perfect action-packed book and it's i just i love the i love magic so i love when it's magic elements involved in this and i just i love this so much i cannot wait to see what song of the dead is going to bring because i really liked how rain of the fall and ended um so i'm just excited to see where this is going to go and and like what we're going to do i'm just excited and I, I hope it's as good as i hope it's better than this one actually i hope it's better than rain of the fall man because i gave rain of the fall like a three and a half somewhere in that area so i i hope song of the dead is a step up so i'm excited then the next book that i have is a book that has been widely discussed on book two that is on everybody's most anticipated reads which is it should be on a lot i think it's on a lot of people's just tp you off of this month in general and that is on the come up by angie thomas and if you do not know who angie thomas is i'm gonna just look at you i don't i don't know what to say to you so Angie Thomas is the author of The Hate You Give, if y'all did not know, which I don't think I have back from my mother yet. I think my mom still has it. But On The Come Up follows um, this girl, Bree. Uh, I think she's 16. Yeah, she's 16 years old and is set in the same, in, in Garden Heights, just as The Hate You Give was set in. Now, I don't know if it's before Star before all the things that happened with Star or after all the things that happened with Star. I want to assume that it's going to be after everything that happened with Star. But I just, I think it would be really cool if we got just like a cameo from Star in here. Not making her a part of the book. Just just the fact that they might know each other or they might see, you know, something like that. Just like a pop up to be like, oh yeah, that, that Star or whatever. Not, not nothing for her to actually be like a part of the book because she had her story. But this is about 16 year old Bree who is an up and coming rapper and... Her father died before he could make it big, but he was one of the best underground rappers that it was. So she already feels like she has a lot of pressure on her because she has big shoes to fill. And then things start to turn where it's like a, a not just a craving to, to, to be this big rapper, but it's a need because her mother ends up losing her job. And so she feels like I have to make it now to be able to provide for my family and put food on the table. So it's basically us following her journey through her making it or not making it. I don't know if she's going to make it. But it's us following her journey to to through all of this struggle and stuff. You know, that's that's basically what this is about. Um, but the, the thing is, she wants to be a rapper, but she doesn't want to be marketed as a stereotype, you know, black girl rapper. So, and I think she ends up getting a deal or something and that it, it, they took her piece the wrong way. And that's exactly how she's being marketed the way that she doesn't want to be marketed. But I, I think it's like she's going to have to decide if she's just going to take that leg up into the game and just run with that persona or is she going to stand up for what she how she wants to be seen. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm thinking that's how it is. I'm trying not to read the synopsis of the book again. But I'm pretty sure it, it follows some basis like that. But I'm so hyped up to read this. I'm not going to promise I'm reading it this month. Because I have a lot of books on my TBR this month. I may read it this month. But I'm, no promises. But um, I also heard that there is a movie deal for this 
next book as well so it's gonna be ready before the movie come out if i'm pretty sure the movie isn't gonna be out until like next year sometime but i'm excited to read this because i love the hate you give so much and i just cannot wait to see what drama is going to unfold in this book and how much i can relate to in this book as well so the last book that i have that i'm gonna haul well no that was four books that was in five where did i count a fifth book okay but anyway the last book that i'm gonna haul is what we talk about when we talk about ray by sohalia abdulli i feel like i said that's so wrong but um this book is about the author herself. She was she got gang raped at 17 in Mumbai. Yeah. And she wrote this article for a magazine um, about perception of rape. And her article ended up coming back into light in 2012 when another gang rape happened, but this one was a fatal gang rape. And she decided that she was going to write a whole book about perception of rape and how people look at rape and stereotype of rape and just things that go through people's mind when rape is brought up and just whole rape culture. So that is what this is about. And I don't know if I'm going to read this before April or read it in April because April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month. And I'm trying to decide if I want to read it for Sexual Assault Awareness Month or read it before to have some books to recommend for that month if you wanted to some awareness on sexual assault. So I don't I don't know. I'm still trying to I'm still debating with myself if I'm gonna read it before that month or during that month. But um this book came out in January and I'm I'm actually excited about this book. Excited seems like the wrong word to say for this book, but it's just the fact that I know a lot of people don't like to read stuff like this, but it's just Hearing other people's opinion, like their standpoint on a topic, to to see where they're coming from, to hear pros and cons and compares and debates between different sides. I'm just, I like to read things like that. But yeah, that's all I kind of have to say about this. Um, if I, I, I will be doing a review on all of these books that I read. Oh, and I also, I did a review on Rain of the Fallen, so if you're interested in Rain of the Fallen, I'm going to leave that link in the eye so you guys can go and check the link the review out for rain of the fall and if you're interested in that series because i think it's going to be a trilogy but um and i also did a review on the hate you give as well so yeah that is all of the books that i have for this video i actually kalea has a book that i bought for her but i think i'm gonna leave that for another video because i want to do a caterpillar corner video with her and she also has some more library books so i was going to do like a library book haul but includes the books that i bought for her as well i got two other books i went to the library and i was just supposed to be um renewing my books that i already had and getting her books i ended up picking up two books for myself to add to the already books that i already had and one of them i'm gonna have to bring back because i i didn't know it was like a second book in a series which i should have looked i was looking at the cover trying to see if it was a sequel or not because the cover caught my eye and i wasn't paying attention until i got home and found out it's a sequel to an already book so i can't even read it because i need to read the first book the two books that i'm talking about that i added to the already books that i have from the library is genesis begins again by alicia d williams which this also came out this year i can't it came out in january sometime um this has been around on booktube too so a lot of people have it on their tbr i'm excited to read this i didn't think i was gonna see it at the library and it just caught my eye i'm like wait i know that book i'm gonna pick that book up because i don't think i saw it the last time i went um this is a okay let me try to describe this and not fuck it up i, I, I think this is a middle grade book because i think she's like 13. genesis is a uh, african-american girl she's dark and she hates the fact that she's dark and her family gives her a lot of crap about her skin being so dark so she has a list of things that she doesn't like about herself and she has an exact count in her head she doesn't like that she's dark uh, she doesn't like that her family is always getting kicked out of their houses they always have to move and her father has a gambling problem and she feels like it's her fault because she didn't come out looking like her mother she came out looking too dark and the whole book is about her hating herself pretty much she she it's like she starts i, I think there's like self-harm in the book she feels like she was going to do anything to fix her family even if that means hurting herself and i think through all of this she ends up actually finding some things that she actually liked about herself 
and that started the process of her healing is her finding things that she actually liked and not just counting all the things that she didn't like yeah. about herself so that's i hope i did a good job but that's like the most i can describe about this book but this is going to be a read i'm reading it's my sister's a library book i'm going to try to read it this month so i can give it back and then the book that i got that i found out was a sequel to the book and i can't even read is daughters of steel by naomi cypress and it's a sequel to sisters of glass but i saw this cover and i was just like that's beautiful i was like i that's beautiful i don't even know what it's about but I, it's magic and it's i like it and then i got home and then i seen that it says in the middle right on the freaking cover it's a sequel so i'm like i can't even read it so it's like i have to bring this one back and get the first book so i can enjoy it if they have the first book i'm gonna look online and just hold it so i don't have to go looking because that's when i start picking up more stuff when i'm looking so i'm just gonna do it the lazy way um but tell me that's not freaking beautiful but this is also a middle grade novel as well because i was in the kids section because i was just going to get her more books and then i was like might as well pick these up too so ladies and gents these are the books that i hauled in this video this is all the books that i have um i cannot wait to read these books i hope i i have high expectations for these books because i just have the feeling like i'm gonna really love them and like really just be into them and i hope i don't hurt my own feelings so yeah i'm super excited cannot wait to see this don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye